people know that the only way to get accurate tire pressure readings is when the tires are cold, as in before you drive on them. But are you sure you're getting accurate cold readings, even if you haven't driven yet today? Don't be so sure. Before the sun came out this morning, we confirmed that all of our rear tires on our RV were at exactly 85 pounds per square inch, which is right where they belong for our axle weights. We haven't driven the RV yet today, but now we're checking them again a couple of hours later to confirm that they're still at 85 PSI. This side of the RV has been in the shade all day, so this tire hasn't had any sunshine on it yet, and the tire pressure hasn't changed at all. Using our infrared thermometer to check the tire's surface temperature, we can see that it's reading 57 degrees Fahrenheit. The other side of the RV is in the sun, and this tire has had the sun shining on it for about two hours now. Let's use our thermometer again to see what effect direct sunlight has had on tire surface temperature. It's already up over 107 degrees, just from the sun shining on it. So what effect does that have on tire pressure? It's jumped a full five pounds per square inch, just from being in the sun for two hours. If we were just now checking the tire pressure for the first time today, we'd mistakenly think that the tire was overinflated and let out five PSI, thereby leaving the tire underinflated by five pounds. Next time you take cold tire pressure readings, don't forget that pressures can rise from more than just driving. Check them before the sun hits your RV's tires to be sure you're not getting artificially inflated readings. Be sure to connect with us on our website, thervgeeks.com, where you can subscribe to hear about our newest video tips as soon as they're released. And if you missed our previous video about the new way we're inflating our tires, you can watch it here. If you enjoy our videos, please be sure to give them a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.